This is Shepard with the Jacksonville Shooting Experience. Today I'm at the range a little bit early and I am going to take some shots with a, uh, a Canik, a 9mm Canik, and uh, it has a Holson red dot on it. And uh, I am not into red dot sights yet. I say yet because I know that I'm just an old man who's stuck in my ways and uh, red dots are the way to go. All the cool kids are using them. Um, by the way, the reason I'm tapping the magazine on my hand after I loaded a few rounds in it, if, uh, if, the if the cartridges are forward, then they won't go down into the mag as well. So every so often I like to give it a little tap, maybe every five rounds or so, just to make sure it's to the rear. When I load a handgun, the first thing I do is I get my good grip on the gun, of course keeping my finger off of the trigger. And on the other side here, you'll notice my thumb is up in this ready position for my hand to come in and cradle it. I bring the gun up into my imaginary shooter's box here, my workspace, so that I can keep looking at the target out there and not lose sight of it. Then I take the magazine, and this comes from the old days of, of competition, put my finger on the tip of the top bullet, because if I was going to draw it out of my magazine pouch, same thing in law enforcement, if I was going to draw it out draw it out of the pouch, I would have my tip of, uh, tip of my finger on the tip of the bullet, and then that will help me guide it into the mag well. So even if I'm not looking at it, I can kind of sort of get an idea of where it should go because I have my finger there to, to push it in or to, to point my way. So after I get it in, I, I make sure it's seated firmly. You don't have to give it multiple taps. That's kind of silly, uh, but just it, one to really make sure it's in there and we're good. A couple ways I, I rack the slide. I, I try to practice both because I think it's a good idea. One is reaching over the top in the horseshoe movement to pull it back. When I do that, I want to make sure that my fingers aren't covering up the ejection port here, because if I'm getting in this habit now, sometime when I'm trying to clear it, well, that's not a good thing, because the empty case or the full cartridge can't come out. Um, another thing with a red dot, I see some people just putting their hand on the back here. You can do it that way. The other popular way is turning the gun to full gangster, not just half gangster, but full gangster, and then reaching and pinching like this. You can see that, and then pulling the slide back and letting go. A little tip for those of you who have hands that are maybe not as strong as they once were, uh, instead of pulling the slide back, hold the slide still and push the gun forward. Psychologically, that seems to make it easier. So, I'm gonna rack it. And what I find is that when I take aim, the red dot is never in the right place. You know whose fault that is? That's mine. I haven't done this enough. It's not the fault of the red dot technology. It's just my eyes aren't used to it. There it is. Take my slow, gentle trigger press. Okay, and then the gun recoils. And I kept it in this up position. I'm gonna step back here a little bit so you can see it. See how it's kind of pointed up? My target's actually there. I have it pointed up. My finger is still pressing the trigger all the way to the rear. Now I'm gonna get my sight back on the target. Now I'm gonna ease my finger forward. You hear that click? That's the trigger reset. Now I'm gonna take my next follow-up shot Gently Whoa, that surprised me. See how the gun recoiled up? Now the reason it's not recoiling more is because I have a strong support hand on it. Now I get back on target, ease my finger off the trigger, press again, get back on target. Once I'm back on target, then I'm allowed to take my finger off the trigger. Not like so. Now, I, this time when I fired, I kept my finger on the trigger. This is just my habit. It's not going to fire right now. I have it firmly pressed. I'm keeping it in a safe direction. Now, of course, if I was going to swing the gun around here, I would take my finger off the trigger. Coming back out. Ah, did you catch my little movement there? That was not good. So I do an automatic tap and rack. And yet, in this case, it turns out that it was in fact empty, but the uh, the slide just isn't catching on the empty magazine. Not sure why that is, but uh, the Canik is a pretty awesome gun. I haven't seen that happen before. A lot of fun to shoot. Trying to get used to that red dot. Thanks for watching, guys.